Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Wii Remote as a light gun controller for MAME light gun games. So we're going to be using today a Mayflash Dolphin Bar. This is the sensor that you install either underneath or above your TV or monitor. It connects to your PC via the USB connection. And then we're also going to be using a genuine Wii Remote, which I have right here. I recommend going with a genuine one because the knockoff third party ones out there just do not work well with any emulation platforms. Uh, not to say that you won't get anything out of them entirely, but you're likely going to get a whole lot of headaches because they just don't sync up and work as well as the genuine ones. And the good news is the genuine ones are actually much cheaper in most cases. I picked up my genuine one off of eBay used for 15 bucks, so you just can't beat it. It works better, it's cheaper in most cases, and you're not going to pull all your hair out trying to get this set up. Other thing I'm using is a light gun casing here. So you can see this is a casing which has a spot for your Wii remote. So it just slides into place like this, push it in and it locks right into place. And then you just flip this little tab up in the front and you're good to go. Works super well, super secure, nothing's gonna fall out or anything like that. So that's exactly all the pieces and parts that I'm using for this setup today. So let's get started. All right, so in order to set up our Wii Remote for light gun games along with MAME here on Botticera, first thing we need to do is obviously boot up our system. So once we've booted it up, you're going to come to your Botticera menu somewhere in here. I just navigated already to MAME just to make it a little bit easier. Once everything's booted up though, you're going to take your Mayflash Dolphin Bar. I already have mine mounted underneath my TV, but you're gonna take it and you're going to plug it into your PC. It's gonna connect via the USB port there. And once you do that, you're going to wanna to sync this up with your Wii Remote. So I have the Wii Remote right here. What you need to do is on your Mayflash Dolphin Bar, there's a sync button right here. You're just gonna hit that. It's going to flash the uh, blue indicator lights and you're gonna do the same thing on your Wii Remote. The sync button on your Wii Remote is in this back panel right beside your battery. So there's a little red button in there. So you're gonna hit both of these sync buttons at the same time. They're gonna sync up in a matter of seconds. Once you have some solid display lights on here, it's going to flash like this and then it should go solid. So you wanna make sure now for MAME that you're on mode number two on the Mayflash Dolphin Bar. So here I have the two lit up with my LED indicator light. Now, if you've already been using your Mayflash Dolphin Bar with your Wii Remote, then they're probably already synced up. But if you've been using it in the Wii collection, you're probably gonna be on mode number four here, not two. So you wanna make sure that you switch it over to two, just hit the mode button until that number two lights up. And once you do the lights here on your Wii uh, Remote, will actually light up with lights number one and number four. So you can see there's four LED indicator lights here. Number one and number four are lit up. So that's how you know that everything has been set up properly between your Wii Remote and your Dolphin Bar. Once that's the case and you're on mode two here and you have those number one and four lights lit up on your Wii Remote, you can go ahead and mount your Wii Remote to your TV or monitor. Before you do that though, I should mention that you wanna make sure that you have the right settings on the back. It's gonna say either top or bottom, and you wanna just make sure that it's switched to wherever you're mounting this. So I'm mounting below my TV, so I have it switched over to bottom here. So that's actually all we need to do right now between the Dolphin Bar and the Wii Remote. So I'm gonna take my regular gamepad controller, which today I'm using just a regular PlayStation style gamepad controller, um, along with my system here, and we're gonna navigate into MAME, and we're gonna jump into a light gun game. So let me go to... Um, my jump to letter here, just make this a little bit easier. Let me go into L and we'll jump into uh, Lethal Enforcers here. So we're gonna jump in here and you're going to let your game load up. So you're gonna go past all these initial screens here. And I'm actually gonna be using my Wii Remote inside of a light gun casing here. So it just slides into place just like so. And then this little tab in the front just covers it like that. So you can see here, it's nice and secure, nothing's gonna fall out or anything like that. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to either map this if it's not already mapped. Now for me, it was actually already mapped. So I'm gonna show you what it does for me. I'm gonna take my regular gamepad controller here and I'm just gonna hit the um, select button, which is my coin button. And then I'll hit the start button here. That's gonna open up the game. Now if I take my light gun and pull the trigger, I'm actually able to um, maneuver and all that. I'm a little bit close right now, so I'm just gonna back away. You can see my um, crosshairs there on the screen. I'm able to aim at each of these guys. And everything's working perfectly as it is. 
So I can't guarantee that that's going to be the case for everybody. For me, it did work out that way where everything just, you know, was instantly already set up with the Wii remote. But I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do if you find that you're aiming and everything and it's not actually doing anything. So first thing we need to do, again, this is only if your Wii remote is not working with your game. And we're going to take our regular gamepad controller here and we're going to hit our hotkey and X. That's gonna jump us into the quick menu in RetroArch. And then we're gonna drop down to options. We're gonna select options with X. And we're gonna drop down to the, let's say one, two, three, four, five, fifth one down, which says display main menu. And you can see right here, it's set to off. We're gonna just switch that with our D-pad to on. And then you wanna just go up so you're no longer highlighting display main menu. And you're gonna hit your hotkey and X all over again. When we're back in the game, it's gonna give you this menu right here. And we're gonna go down to input this game. The second option down, we'll select that actually with our circle button on here. And if you have a different gamepad controller, you'll just hit the uh, button that you know goes along with what I'm doing. So, so we're gonna hit input game. And here you can see it's already programmed in because player one coin is already um, given a, uh, a button mapping and then we also want to go to player one button one that's going to be it says mouse click here that's going to be your trigger so what we would do if this is all blank we're going to first select uh, player one coin and you can either do this on your regular gamepad controller or you can assign a function on the actual Wii remote if you already have one of these plugged in then you could just leave it um, you know set up with this one here so I would select player one coin. I'll just hit the uh, circle button here and you can see that it goes blank right there. And then you'll assign whatever button you want to assign as your coin button. So I'm going to leave it as select on here. Um, and you can see now it's programmed as select right there. And that's going off of this guy, not the actual Wii remote. So I'm going to go down now to player one button one. This is going to be button one on any light gun games so is always going to be your trigger button. So I'm gonna select that with the circle here on my gamepad controller. It's gonna do the same thing, it blanks it out. Then I'm gonna just take my Wii remote, you wanna make sure that you're aiming at the sensor, and I'm gonna pull the trigger. You can see now, it might be delayed a couple seconds like it was for me, but you can see now it has dot, dot, dot here, and it's actually assigned a function to it. So we can back out right now. Best way to back out is to just take your gamepad controller and navigate all the way down and you'll see at the bottom it says return to main menu. So we'll go ahead and select that. I'm gonna select it with the circle. That brings us right back here to this menu screen that's populated into our game. Now we're going to take the uh, same approach to removing it as we did to enable it here. We're going to hit our hotkey, which for me is select and X at the same time. It's gonna bring us right back into our options page and we'll just drop down to that display main menu. It's selected as on because we just programmed it to do that. We're gonna switch it to off, navigate up one option so you're not highlighting that anymore. And then hotkey and X back into the game. We've removed that and we should be able to play along with the game. So my coins here to add the coins since this is an arcade game is going to be select. You can see my credits are going up up there. I'll hit start on my gamepad controller. And now I can pull the trigger on my gun here. And I'm just gonna back away from the screen a little bit so that sensor picks up on me. And I'm right back into it. You can see I'm able to navigate through this game, hitting all these guys. I will, uh, to reload, I'll just actually shoot down in that um, bottom left corner there. You have to get a little bit used to these games just to get the uh, feel for them. But bottom left corner always reloads, you can see them getting used to it already. Real quick, just shooting and then reloading. So uh, same deal for pretty much all these games. I'm gonna just jump out of this. To jump out of games, it's gonna be the same as anything else on Botticera. Hot key and start, brings you right back out of the game into your main menu. All right guys, so you can see from this setup, it's really straightforward and if you're coming into Botticera emulation from RetroPie, this is just going to be so much easier. Uh, with RetroPie, everything does work well in the end, but there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people have reported issues setting up the um, Wii Remote as a light gun 
with games on RetroPie. And depending on which update you're on, that can factor into whether this works for you the first time or if you have to really mess around with it and try multiple times. So with Botticera, it's just so much easier. It's really straightforward. For me, everything just, as soon as I synced everything up, as I showed you in the video today, all the controls and everything were automatically mapped for me. So I can't say that's gonna work for everybody. So that's why I jumped into RetroArch, enabled that main display menu, and showed you exactly how you can go in and actually map each game. So depending on whether it's super easy for you and everything's already done or not, you know, you might not even have to go with that approach, but just wanted to cover everybody's bases for them today and show you both ways depending on you know what you actually experience on your end so if you have any questions anything like that feel free to reach out to me i'm always happy to help you guys out any way that i possibly can but that's going to do it for today so if you enjoy this video you found it helpful smash the like button for me be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we do a ton of different videos here and tutorials, game reviews, and we also have the Forgotten Favorites YouTube series, which airs every single Monday and Thursday night with a new episode here on the RetroPie Guy YouTube channel. So tons of great content on here, um, something for everybody for sure. So hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And then of course, check us out online on the website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching today.